Now, have you watched any good documentaries lately? Because I watched one hell of a documentary over the past weekend about King Von. It was made by Trap Lord Ross and pretty much saying or, or arguing or at least giving a perspective of what if King Von was truly a killer and was he was he rap hip hop's first serial killer so i watched it now trap lord ross just brought up a bunch of evidence you know tweets he made at certain times that correlated with people's passing enemies he had i witnessed testimonies to officers that saw vaughn at scenes when people were being murdered and pretty much saying that they saw vaughn murder these people so a uh, good question that was brought up in the documentary was, does this make him uh, hip-hop's first serial killer? And uh, two points that were used, that, that Trap Lil Ross used to argue that point. Again, if, again, this is if only if he had actually committed these murders. And so seven bodies were supposed to be that King Von did on his own, plus ten, all the, well, plus three, which was ten altogether, that he did as far as having that be done. Now, serial killer is somebody that, I think they said it was, what, three people over a period of time, not all at once. And then also, uh, what Trap Lord Ross was saying was his enjoyment out of it and his wanting for people to know. And the satisfaction that the killing gave him, even after he was outside of Chicago life. Now, in my opinion, Trap Lord Ross brought up a pretty convincing argument. It's hard not to. It's hard to argue against that. With so much of what Vaughn was saying, so whether it was in his tweets, old tweets, his raps, all type of stuff, just the the the, the individual people that he was talking about, how many of them were linked to him, how many of them had witnesses that saw. You know, it's kind of hard to argue this. Now, this documentary did cause a stir. For one, Trap Lord Ross is a white guy. He's from like the UK or something like that. And people are like, who are you to talk about? Chicago's business, hip hop pit business, black people business in general, right? They wilding out. Now, let me tell y'all this. First of all, um, it's, it don't matter who you are. Everybody comments on everybody's business. This is it's the same idea that I hear a lot of black people have that whenever a white person says something about what's going on in the black community or you know the black culture, that is like, who are you to say something about us? Stick to your side. When the hell do we stick to our side? We, we talk about everybody's mess. We got everything to say. Shade Room post about everybody. Mostly black people, but if it's some white people drama, they're going to post about it. And guess what? I see a lot of black people not minding their own business. If y'all trying to say we can only talk about the business of our culture, our race, or whatever, y'all in a lot of business then that y'all shouldn't be in. So let's stop that noise right there. That's hypocritical. I, I don't believe in that. I think anything public is open to be talked about by anybody. That doesn't mean that, that you have to agree with them. That doesn't mean that, that they're coming at it from a, a sincere, honest place. They could be just trying to rile up some drama or something. But the fact is, if it's public by public people, or even if it's not p- public people, if it's a public situation that's seen by all, I truly do believe you have the right to comment on that. Second thing people are complaining about when it comes to Trap Lord Ross is... Oh, they're saying that this is just bringing more negative attention to these situations and that that documentary is causing gang wars to start back up. It was it was kind of, uh, uh, you know, bringing bringing all the, the the issues boiling back up to the surface because he's talking about all the people that King Von allegedly murdered in the documentary. Now, what to that I say, if you wasn't mad at King Von for putting out the music bragging about these murders, and you want saying that King Von making this music is doing the same thing, then don't say nothing about people reporting on it. People can report on the issues. People can report on what's happening. Stop focusing on the reporters and start focusing on what's actually going on out there and start holding these these uh, politicians and lawmakers and everything accountable because this is a travesty it's not dj academics fault it's not trap lord ross's fault these are things that they see and they comment on it and yes the one shot rack was not d- done with the most taste and most tact but academics will ad- openly admit that and is always willing to do what he can to help the situation in Chirac, y'all just won't let that go because a lot of people just don't like academics and that's the issue they can use to try to say how bad of a guy is because he really don't do nothing. He just drink and talk mess and talk about people and, and, and talk about stuff that's going on. Like he's not Hitler or whatever, the way out people like that. But back to this. So yeah, I'm just, I don't want to hear that nonsense from people who have no problem with the gangsters, rappers and all and, and the drill rappers talking about these murders that they committed and how they 
how they mess up their city with drugs and, and, and guns and all this stuff. But then when somebody reported on how well the city is messed up and maybe he really was talking about this. Maybe King Von really was living the life that he was talking about in his rhymes. Then all of a sudden y'all get mad at that dude. The victims of King Von, their families have to see this guy profiting, making generational wealth off of telling the stories out of bragging in raps on beats that they they might want to go to the club and have to hear because it's in Chicago about killing their family members. Whether he did or didn't, he's rapping about doing it. Whether you say it's a character or not, he's rapping about doing it. And these people do believe that he's doing it. And you have to be out of your mind if you think that that type of stuff from King Von making these records and Dirk and all these other drill rappers making these records is not having the same effect, if not more of an effect, on people going out to Chicago and shooting up the place. Now, the only thing is... The uh, people like academics and even Trapelo Ross, they'll admit that they, they believe that their their videos can have a hand in that, but no more than the actual shooter bragging about committing the crime on beats that's playing all across the country, and yes, even in Chicago. So stop that nonsense. I think there needs to be a lot of accountability, and if you don't want people reporting on uh, things that happen in these bad communities, bad neighborhoods, and you shouldn't want rappers rapping about it and profiting off of it, especially if they're bragging about murdering real innocent people, or not real innocent people, whoever, whether they're innocent or not, bragging about murdering them to make a profit, and, and, and their family has to hear that. So you should be more concerned about that. But of course they won't be because... The media person is always the easy scapegoat to go after. You don't want to go after the rapper. You know, it just is it, my artistic value. I can freedom of speech. I can say what they want. All right, I got you. But uh, yeah, so to me, I thought that Chaplin Ross made a phenomenal documentary. Clearly, whether you believe it or not, you can see that the brother really did take his time, do his research before forming his opinion. I encourage everybody to go watch it. It is three hours, but you know, if you want to take your breaks, watch it in your parts or however you want to do it. It's a good watch. And um, yeah, I, I like the conversation that he brought up. I just don't think that people are going to really look at themselves uh, and, and, and look at what did you do. They're always going to try to look at what somebody else did and, and put pass the buck somewhere else besides the artists that you know tend to profit the most off of these losses it's the wet yes podcast yeah talk whack to me talk whack to me yeah talk whack to me talk whack it's to me it's the wet yes podcast yeah talk whack to me Talk whack to me, yeah. talk whack to me, talk whack to me.